So this little bumblebee decided um, <laughs> that it just wanted to hang out on my hand. So we are um, just, you know, trying not to freak out. Um, <laughs> okay. Hey. <laughs> oh, so, uh, we're friends now. I think. <laughs> Say hi. I don't know. He's decided that he wants to stay. <laughs> um, just letting him do his thing. Um, just letting him do his thing until he's ready to leave. I guess. <laughs> Hi. Yes. Hello. Okay. I cannot stop thinking about that bumblebee that landed on me today and stayed for about 15 minutes. My grandfather passed away a few weeks ago and um, about a week before he passed, I told him about a honeybee farm that I want to have next spring. His reaction was shocked and <laughs> um, he was a little scared and nervous about that um, and he was unsure about the idea of me having a honeybee farm. So anyway, um, the last few days I've really been thinking about that conversation and, um, you know, wondering, wow, what if he's right? What if it's not a good idea? I've got two children and um, half an acre to work with, so maybe it's not a good idea. I don't know, but I really want to. And then today, a bumblebee lands on me and he just stayed on my hand for the longest time. And I couldn't help but think of my grandfather and um, I thought about that conversation again and I just really felt um, a sense of peace and I really felt his presence. I felt like he was saying hi and um, I know it sounds maybe crazy to some people, okay, but I 110% believe that that was him today and I think that he was giving me a sign that like, do your honeybee farm. <laughs> it's gonna be great. I miss him so much. So anyway, today uh, was a really cool day because I got an unexpected hello from my grandpa. <laughs> It was good. Anyway, so now I'm thinking about the honeybee. <laughs> yeah. Okay, have a good day, everyone. <laughs>